Lisbon, the Portuguese capital built on seven hills with around 300 sunny days a year. It is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, famous for the colorful cobbled streets, beautiful tiles, the history and home to around 2.8 million people. Hi, I am Martijn and your guide in Lisbon. After watching this Lisbon travel guide you know a lot about this city to get the most out of your trip. From the old center to the beach and the best place to stay. I don't like to ask but please like and subscribe. It's the only way to grow on YouTube and to make new content in the future. To travel from the airport to the city, you can use a bus or taxi. And the taxi service is cheap, 10 to 20 euros. And to travel in the city, I always use Uber. The service is fast and also cheap. And we start the Lisbon travel guide in the old center called Alfume. It's quite special that this neighborhood is still here because a big part of Lisbon was destroyed by a heavy earthquake in 1755. But Alfume was spared. Beautiful, authentic houses and narrow streets. One way to see, one way to know is never look back and just letting it go. Everywhere in the city you see the beautiful painted tiles, especially in Alfuma. On this painting they show you the city before the heavy earthquake. You will find a lot of nice viewing points in Alfume, over the river in Lisbon, the Teixu. Don't miss this beautiful castle, São Jorge. A part of it was built in the 6th century before Christ. It's located on the highest hill in the city, so over here you have a wonderful view. To book your tickets, you can use the link in the text below to skip the line. In a moment you know more about this futuristic part of Lisbon. But first we go to the beach. It's a one hour ride by public transportation. When you use a taxi, it's only a 20 to 25 minutes ride. And a single journey will set you back around 15 to 20 euros. And the most famous beach is Carcavelos. Another nice neighborhood to visit is Bairro Alto. It was a rundown neighborhood in the past, but nowadays it's much better. There's not so much going on during the day, but in the evening it's famous for the nightlife, bars and restaurants. In your eyes, I see a fire in away. There's no going back and I'm In a moment you know where you can find this street art, but first street cars, who have been driving here since 1873. And it's also a nice attraction. Look how authentic and cute they are. They crack a little bit, but it happens more often later in life, I know. You can start your journey on this square, Praza do Martim Moniz. Today I take Streetcar 28 to the old center. A single journey will set you back around 3 euro. But keep in mind that it can be crowded and the line can be very long. In a moment you know more about this statue. But first, my favorite and best place to stay in Lisbon. For my visit I booked a room in the Doubletree by Hilton Fontana Park. It's a beautiful hotel with history and I liked it. In the past it was an old factory building, but nowadays it's transformed into a beautiful design hotel with original details. It's a real urban experience, staying in the city center within walking distance from the main attractions and it's only a 10 minutes drive to the airport. The rooms are beautiful and don't forget to check out the deluxe rooms because they offer a private terrace. You can use the gym for free, that's good to know. And there is also a bar for a nice drink or cocktail. And you can taste the real Portuguese gastronomy in the restaurant Saldanha Mar. And they use local food from the market on the other side of the road, the 31st of Janeiro. Visiting Lisbon and staying here, for me, is the perfect combination. Portugal has long been ruled by a dictator just like Spain and I'm glad the people are free right now. But there are still remains from that period. For example, this big Jesus Christ statue. It's called Cristo Hey. And maybe you recognize this from Rio de Janeiro, Jesus the Savior. Exactly, this is a copy. When you stand in front of it you can see how big it really is, 75 meters high. 
In front there is an observation deck to make pictures to make all your friends and followers jealous. And my advice is to visit this place in the morning and that's because of the position of the sun to get the best results. From the city to the statue I took a cab over the bridge of the 25th of April. When you go back by cab you have to pay toll. So my advice is to go back on another way and that's by ferry. The only thing is that you have to walk for around 45 minutes to the city place Almade. It's a small cozy place, also nice for a drink and a snack. From here you can take the boat for 1 euro 80. And when you are on the other side of the water, don't miss this beautiful street art, it's just beside the terminal. In a moment you know more about this rooftop bar, but first we are going back in time to this tower. This is Torghi Jibelim, a defense tower built between 1515 and 1528. In the past it was also a prison. And to be honest, a really good place for a prison. You are not able to escape without a swimming certificate, because the tower is surrounded by water. What is the best time to visit Lisbon? In my opinion, the months April, May, September or October. Mostly sunny days and 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. I have to say Lisbon is my favorite city in Europe to eat fish. You can find some of the names of my favorite restaurants in the text below so you can check them out by yourself. A bigger spot is the LX Factory. It's a complex with old renovated buildings where you can find restaurants, bars and also boutique shops. Another nice spot is this rooftop bar. It's called Park. Actually, it's getting more crowded every time I visit this place, so it can be difficult to find a spot to sit. But otherwise, enjoy the sunset and your cocktail. What can you call a kind of real city center? For me, it's this area. It's called Baixa. It's full with shops and squares. And the most famous one is Praso do Comercio. It's also called the Palace Square because there was a palace in the past on this place. But it was destroyed during the earthquake in 1755. And as you can see, you have a beautiful view over the Tejo River. So take a seat, enjoy it and relax. And don't miss this construction. It's an elevator to a beautiful viewing point. And the construction was designed by a student of Gustavo Eiffel more than 100 years ago. In a moment you know a place for a perfect day trip outside Lisbon. But first an example that not everything in the city is really old. This area was built for the World Expo in 1998 and is called Parque de Nassois. With a big aquarium, beautiful architecture and a cable car. When you are a few days in Lisbon, my advice is to visit also Sintra. It's a small village near Lisbon and it's a real fairy tale. By taxi it's only 35 minutes and by train 45. Over here you see the most beautiful gardens, castles and palaces. Sintra originated in a time when there were no smartphones and televisions, about 300 years before Christ. Then there was a Celtic moon temple here. The name Sintra is derived from the Celtic name Cynthia, which means moon. And to book your day trip to Sintra, you can also use the link in the text below. When you like this video, just give a thumbs up, thank you so much. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.